Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. In the last episode, we enjoyed the fall time festival, and after spending some time carving pumpkins, we won ourselves a brand new friend. Now we have a little dragonfly following us right alongside Aqua the turtle, which is the cutest thing I have ever seen. We're going to have a little creature parade pretty soon. Everybody in the forest is going to want to follow in Pennycat's trail. We'll have to come up with a name for our little dragonfly friend as well. Maybe something relating to the autumn season where we found him, or something to do with his flying skills, like maybe Wisp or Breeze. Let me know what you guys can think of. But we also have some brand new little herbs to harvest, our very first golden seal, our very first snake lily too. So those will be good things for us to bring to our adventures today. Bring along with us. We're going to pack some lavender as well, we're planning on going to the sacred temple, so I wanted to spread that all around the surrounding territory. That way we know our trips to the temple itself will be a little bit safer. For that matter, it looks like uh, the mystic colony. Oh no, they're at the orchard again. Oh, I forgot that was directly below the sacred temple. Penny has the worst luck fighting battles in the orchard and it's probably because it is directly inside mystic territory itself, so they have lots of cats trying to uh, guard that place. I guess it's no surprise though. They probably have quite a few uh, resources to guard there. Hello, Coco. Hi, Penny, how are you today? Listen, there's something I want you to see. Something tells me you could help me with it. Maybe you can restore the balance. If you get a free moment, you should come to the sacred temple. It's right in the middle of the wilderness. You can find it on your map. While well, we were planning on going there, I wonder if he's talking about that trap door we found? That was why we were planning on visiting the sacred temple today, so I hope that has something to do with it. I'll meet you there. All right, Coco, warping there as always. You know, we can actually get our little paws on that same skill that could warp us directly to the temple, but we're saving up our skill points to uh, make ourselves master hunters. And speaking of which, before we leave for the day, we have to make sure that we give a scout some of those lovely bunnies that we caught. I think we only managed to get our paws on one, and you know, it might actually be too early for him to be out today. He might be down here by his den. Oh, there you are, Scout. I'm so used to it getting up later in the day that I thought you were already out adventuring on your own, but he's looking to stay warm for a little bit longer. So let's give him this lovely bunny. Oh, wow, I've always loved these. Thanks a billion, Penny. So we're up to the blue level heart with him so far, and we don't have any more of his very favorite gifts left, but we'll give him a couple more things inside our inventory to hopefully tie him over. Oh yeah, that did work. Now we have the green heart instead. Excellent. So yeah, we're trying to get all the way up to red. Once we get to that red heart, we should be able to buy the shiny trinket inside of Ember's shop, and then he might just be willing to accept our uh, offer of marriage. Then he'll become our true partner inside the forest colony, and that's when we can start to think about things like the nursery inside our den, the potential kittens that they might have. That's something that I am really, really looking forward to, of course, and I know a lot of you guys are as well. But we'll have Penny go ahead and munch on that lovely crow that she just caught so she's nice and full and prepared to charge into battle. We probably should have brought some of our golden seals, now that I think about it. We gave out the last one to Scout, so we're going to have to be particularly careful when we decide to go into the orchard. But first, let's see what Coco was talking about. I want to know if it has anything to do with this very mysterious trap door. But Coco's waiting for us, so hello. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. You're here, good. Now we just have to make sure that there's no one else around. No one else to spy on us, maybe. Okay, looks like we're alone. I'm about to show you a place I've never shown anyone else. I think you may be able to help me. Follow me, Penny, down to the temple ruins. Oh, it is that trapdoor. It's like a, a little staircase, actually, just like when we're in the mines. Oh, look at this beautiful place. Well, this is it, the temple ruins. Pretty neat, isn't it? This is where I live. I don't let most cats in here, but I've made an exception for you. Oh, this is Coco's den. Well, I wouldn't have expected anything less of this mystical cat. I don't know why, but it's like something inside me is telling me that you can help me with a small problem that I'm having. You see, I'm not the only one that lives here. These ruins are also the residence of a kindly nature spirit. 
The forest guardian watches over all the wilds and maintains the balance between all living things. But now the forest guardian is gone, disappeared, vanished. One day the guardian was here, the next day the guardian wasn't. The balance is broken. That's the last thing they said to me before they left. I don't know what to do. Maybe the forest guardian is weakening. Maybe it's a test. But I think you might be the solution to this mess. Oh my gosh, and all this was taking place right underneath our paws. Well, I hope he's right. I hope Penny is the one who can help him out. We should bounce some ideas off of each other. There's an old prophecy about the arcane pillars that line the halls of the temple ruins. You can find them all around this room. They look like dark standing stones. So I guess he's talking about these up here? The prophecy says that the pillars have been endowed with some sort of power, but I haven't figured out how to activate them just yet. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but you have to try to get them working for me. Check out the pillars for me, won't you? You know, like Penny is, I'm not too sure how this is all going to go down just yet, but I'm sure we can figure it out. This one seems to be reacting uh, pretty strangely to Penny Cat. What did, what did you just do? I don't know, Coco. I hope it's something good. What do you mean you don't know? Look at the arcane pillar. It's pulsing with light. How odd. It's like it's reacting to you. Well, this is a step in the right direction. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. Look at all these little critters. Do we have to catch all these maybe? Whoa, do you see those symbols above the pillar? What do you think it means? Maybe the pillar is trying to tell us something. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe you should go and collect all those items, then bring them to this pillar. Yeah, just what I was thinking, Coco. That might be enough to activate its power and bring the forest guardian back. Maybe try to place the items at the foot of the pillar? That might just work. All right, so it sounds like we're going to have to make some offerings to the forest guardian to uh, get them back on our side. So we need one normal rabbit, one black rabbit, three mice, and two squirrels. All right, but I don't think we have any of that in our inventory right now. So we'll have to make a little mental note of that and maybe check around inside our den too in case we've already caught some of these creatures. But oh my gosh, there are so many pillars. Penny certainly has a lot of work ahead of her. Can we actually uh, talk to Coco over here too? Yeah, those strange markings on the arcane pillars seem like some type of prey. Maybe you should try catching them and laying them down at the pillar's base. Don't worry, we're on it, Coco. We might as well see if we can catch any today. We are on the hunt for bunnies after all, so if we get some extras, we can bring them over to a Coco and lay them down at the pillar. But that battle is right below us. So I guess we're going to have to sneak our way down there and try our hand at a getting rid of all of these mystic cats. We'll use our deep cut skill first and then try to help out our allies. But I think they're doing pretty well. We just have one more cat left. Oh, finally, finally, we have taken out the mystic cats at the orchard. Oh, thank you so much, Knight and Temperance. Let's uh, talk to Knight before he scoots off to go back home. Hey, Penny, I've been lost for the past few hours. Good to see a familiar face. I must be going the right way. Yeah, don't worry, the uh, territory isn't too far away from here. We do have the uh, left side of the sacred temple under our control. Don't worry, the borders are safe with me. <laughs> All right, good to know, Temperance. And in fact, I think we're going to uh, spread some of our lovely lavender right around this area. We'll use a whole bunch of these until we have the orchard under our control. And now it should be much easier for us to pass through this place when we want to go visit the Mystic Colony again. And on our way up to the next battle, let's try to take over the Mountain Cat territory too, because we do want to try to spread our influence all the way up to the secret Highland Lake. That's the place that uh, Penny seems to enjoy the most, especially when she needs a little bit of time to rest after hunting down all of those bunnies. But before we pass through here, I do want to uh, check out these little paw prints again to see if any of these are going to give us a new power paw. Last time we just walked over one of them and then it popped up right in the center. So I'm curious to see if uh, the winter season is going to give us something new, but so far it doesn't seem like that's the case. Let's try walking over this one. Yeah, they're not giving us uh, any power paws today, but there are still quite a few of those little paw prints lying around the place, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's more secrets. Oh, wait a second, there's another one of these trapdoors down here? Oh, that must be something else that Coco needs to open up for us. 
but let's go ahead and spread some more lavender around. And now the hollowed garden is under our control as well. I feel like if we have the sacred temple basically surrounded by our control, then there's pretty much nothing that can stand in our way. But we have one more battle to take care of, so let's have Penny go ahead and munch on some of the food that she has in her inventory. Yeah, we definitely need to go hunting. Desperately need to go hunting, not only for uh, the forest guardian's sake, but also for Penny Cats too. Well, let's see how many cats are uh, participating in this battle. Oh, it doesn't seem like too many. There are quite a few coming in from the river though. Okay, maybe more than I thought. Well, we can at least take out a few of these before we call in our allies. And in fact, we might not even need any help at all. We just have lavender left. Yeah, we can take care of these. Maybe our little dragonfly was helping us out after all. Learning some good pointers from Aqua the Turtle. So since we already know that the highlands are the absolute best place for us to go hunting for bunnies, let's try to uh, stick our noses up there first. I'm sure we're bound to run into some sort of prey that we can take back to the temple. There's a mouse. We had to catch three of these, so we might as well sneak up on this one. The mice are typically pretty easy for us to get our hands on, so we'll take what we can get. I do remember that the mountain colony was selling the black rabbits too. So if we had a lot of trouble catching one on our own, oh my goodness, Penny is actually having a lot of trouble just catching anything today, then uh, we could always try to offer them some news for a little rabbit to bring back to the temple instead. But at least you can snack on all of these lovely berries, just like Missy has taught you. She'll be glad to know that you're putting all of her advice to good use. This was one of the best places that we found to gather up the winter blueberries anyway, so we might as well try to pick up a few more since it does seem to be quite tricky for us to find prey in the winter season. The forest is all but bare now, as everything is huddling away inside their homes to keep warm. Penny might need to follow their lead pretty soon. It's getting super dark, super late, and probably super, super cold as well. She's not really running into anything else that she can scoop up for herself. Oh, and another one of those mysterious doors. I wonder if those are going to act like a little quick travel links, maybe? If they all connect to the ancient temple, then maybe we can zip through the doors to get around faster. But something tells me we'll need to present our offerings first. So let's go ahead and warp home for now, so Penny can rest overnight, heal some of her wounds from those battles, so she'll be nice and prepared to take on some more as soon as she wakes up. Yeah, we do have some mice inside our den. So we could bring those and at least finish off the mouse portion of the uh, little ancient pillar. I guess we might as well. We have other things to snack on anyway, including another fresh berry from our garden. And this time we'll definitely need to remember to uh, scoop up some of our herbs to take along with us for the journey. Yeah, we're uh, kind of running low on supplies, unfortunately. I guess Penny wasn't completely prepared for the wintertime season. Not even for uh, gifts with Scout, but we have some harvest mice and I know that you do enjoy these. How are you doing today, Penny? I always worry about you. Oh, Scout, you don't have to worry too much. Penny can take care of herself. She has spent uh, quite a bit of time roaming around these forests, so she knows her way around. It's nice to know that he's looking out for us, though. Do you want my extra mouse? I don't need it. Oh, Scout, you have no idea how perfect this is. That means that he's contributing to the Forest Guardian as well. He probably just doesn't want to see Penny go hungry, of course. Since she's spending so much time trying to gather up food for these ancient totems, she must have uh, told him overnight what she's planning to accomplish, because we know that we can trust Scout. Coco was worried about uh, telling too many cats about this sacred place. But Scout is just the sort to offer his support, because he's a pretty good hunter too. Well, with the extra food in our pockets, I'm feeling a little bit safer about wandering closer to the highlands today. We don't have to worry about picking up so many berries along the way just to keep Penny Cat fed. And likewise, where are the battles? Alright, we have this one over here that we could definitely participate in, and it looks like we'll probably take over that entire tile as long as we win that battle. Something tells me our cats will probably be on our side. If we're uh, so close to taking over the territory completely, there must be quite a few cats ready to defend it. But let's see how many of the uh, mountain colony cats are waiting for us. We have Marley down here, we have Scar and Patches. Is that it? Just four cats? 
Well, we can definitely take care of that. There we go, the battle is won. And all of our cats survived for it too. We even have a good stack of Mews building up in our stores, which is all going toward that shiny trinket for Scout. On oh, the black bunny again. All right, let's study our prey and see if we can maybe sneak up on this one. These are always super tricky to catch and oh no, it's coming right toward you, Penny. That is not good. Okay, we have to stay far enough away so it doesn't see us. And then pounce now. There we go. We managed to get the black hair. All right, so that's not gonna go to Scout today because we have to bring that over to the sacred temple. We have to get the forest guardian on our side so we can hopefully get a little bit of extra luck when it comes to battling cats like Felix. Well, that guy was a little bit cold. Maybe that's why his fur was blue. He was frozen out in the snow and uh, he wasn't moving too fast. It's no easy journey carting ourselves all the way over to the highlands, but we know that it's definitely going to be worth it. We're in the Highland West now, so those bunnies should start popping up any time now. Oh, I almost missed that little mouse back there. You're blending in very well with the snow. Well, we'll catch you and uh, bring you along with us. A little field mouse? I don't think we had to uh, bring that to the forest guardian, did we? So that might be a good thing for us to snack on if we get a little bit hungrier. Oh, there's another one of the mice too. I know we already have enough, but I just feel like we should probably increase our own supplies at this point since we don't exactly have too much left over inside our den and they always make for good gifts for cats like Sarge and Mare. But here is our second chance for one of the rabbits. There you go, now you're getting the hang of it, Penny. Oh, we have patients coming after us now. You must have been hunting that bunny too. It's interesting how these cats are hanging around all the food sources. We do know that the uh, summertime season is often the best when it comes to peace between the colonies. Winter is a harsh season, so it makes sense that we'd find plenty more uh, angry, cranky cats looking to fill their bellies. Oh, and the Highland Lake is all frozen over. And we even have a little mice skittering around the place too. So I guess this is still a pretty good place for us to find our food. Though skating on the ice while hunting seems like it's probably not the best idea, but Penny still made it work. Oh no, and now here comes Wiggles. Yeah, these cats are definitely not happy that we're hunting inside their territory, but we have to find something to restore the balance and maybe a little extra one for Scout as well. Well, looks like the bunny zero turns pink when we're hunting. We'll uh, have to keep that in mind, but oh my gosh, all these cats. They are definitely not happy that we're hunting here. And in fact, I think with our lack of herbs, we might just have to hightail it out of this area. That's why I was hoping that we could spread our influence straight over to that lake tile. So Penny would have a safe place to hunt way up in the highlands, and the lake seems like the perfect place for her to rest her head every now and then. Alright, so let's drop off some of our first little offerings. Coco should be very happy to see us. It looks like he's still waiting. So we need to give them our one black rabbit first. This one was pretty tricky for us to get our hands on, so I hope you're happy, Forest Guardian. There we go, and one of those rabbits too. So that means we still have one left over for Scout tomorrow. And then uh, three mice, so one of the mice that Scout gave us, of course. He's contributing too, and I'm sure Coco is going to be very, very happy to hear that. And then I believe we're just down to uh, the two squirrels. So if we can just get our paws on those last two little morsels, then we'll be able to successfully take care of our very first ancient pillar here. I guess that means in the next episode, we'll be searching out the squirrels of the forest. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!